that's the expression there's a reason they're called a springer it's just springing everywhere they've got too much energy all over the place until they just collapse <laughs> well yeah actually it comes from the, the springer and the cocker in terms cocker spaniels and springer spaniels evolved from the same genetics yeah, yeah, yeah the cockers were always smaller and were used for hunting woodcock in dense cover so yeah. the smaller dogs in a litter would go off and be used by people to hunt woodcock which is a, a, a wading bird uh, it, it's a legitimate game bird in this country, in most countries. Um, but it, unlike most wading birds, it, it, it feeds and lives in woodland. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, the springers spring game, so they would cause the game to spring. Um, that's where it comes from. And, and, that's and, to do with the energy levels. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, you, you would think so, and certainly they are high-energy dogs. Um, but they would spring the game up, so they would flush the game and it would spring the game. Um, so I have those I have three lurchers um, um, and lurchers are just uh, and I might offend some of my <laughs> fellow lurcher owners by saying they're basically a mongrel they're a crossbreed between uh, a sight hunting dog such as a greyhound a whippet saluki yeah, borzoi yeah. uh, and any other breed uh, and, and, and the reason the cross is introduced is very often to develop some attribute that is not necessarily apparent in sight hunting dogs so for instance not a lot of sight hunting dogs are particularly keen on uh retrieving mm -hmm. yeah they can be quite intractable i.e once they're off hunting they want to stay off hunting and they're not really too fussed about coming back to the human yeah, um, yeah. at any stage. <laughs> Whereas if you cross them with a collie or something else, um, you can you can try and develop that. Uh, mine are dogs which are bred to a, a breed called a Bedlington Terrier uh, and, and on the other outcross is, is a Deerhound. Um, and the Bedlington Terrier was, was a, a breed and still is a breed which originated in, strange enough, in Bedlington in the in Northumberland um, County Durham, where they were a, a general purpose vermin killing dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and they would be used back in the day for anything from rats to hares to foxes, anything. And they were they're very game. And, and and the term game in terms of dogs and gameness, um, and it's where we get the expression for humans in terms of games, is for dogs, gameness is the ability of a dog to withstand pain and discomfort and continue on with its its purpose. So the Such game... As cat before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A dog that is game... Uh, and it comes goes right back to when dogs were involved in dog fighting and pitched against rats and and yeah, yeah. foxes and badgers. A dog that would hold to its quarry was said to be game. And, and despite whatever the quarry did, be it a badger or whatever, however, or the dog fight and the dog was being mauled by another dog, if it came back for more, it was said to be game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and so gameness was a big attribute when dogs were used for hunting what was regarded as vermin. We might not regard it as vermin now, but animals which back in the day threatened poultry or game birds. Sure, yeah. yeah. Um, the, the dogs that were game and that would take on those um, so is foxes. Same, same game birds and, and dogs that are game. That's not the same. Uh, well, actually, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the term... Um, yeah, uh, I mean, in poultry, we, we have game game cocks. Yeah. Uh, those breeds of poultry, and, and most of our meat eating birds are developed from game uh, from game birds, and they were fighting cocks. Yeah, you know, yeah and they were yeah. bred to fight each other. <clears throat> so yeah, gameness as opposed to game, as in as you say in pheasants and partridges which under the game act are uh, as our deer regarded as animals under a certain legal classification yeah, sure, yeah. um but gameness is, is a slightly different term and lots of you know there's lots of terms which in in modern uh the vocabulary are lost from what their original <laughs> you know origins were 
I know that's a certain translation well, like Dachshund. It's actually, when you when you think about it, it doesn't translate to something like badger hound yeah. in German, that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, you just don't think of that when you're actually, no. you know. Actually no, and when you look at them it, now, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, I, I, I have a client who, who's, uh, has a, uh, a breed of dac- dachshund which is called a teckle, yeah, which is one of the, um, one of the derivations or the original derivations of dachshunds, which is still worked. Uh, and they are a, a rough coated, wire haired dog. Um, uh, and and the, these people had live in London where they'd previously owned a, 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 a small miniature dachshund. And when it died, they decided they didn't want to get a similar looking dog because it would bring back memories. So they got a rough coated dog. Yeah, sure. What they didn't realize was they'd bought a hunting machine. <laughs> And this dog had originated from genetics not Squirrels long ago. Squirrels in London didn't like it very Squirrels, much. <laughs> foxes, there is hundreds of which there, there yeah. are more in London, I suspect, than <laughs> anywhere else. This dog just wants to hunt. Yeah. And, and and they are having a real problem with this dog because it's living in an environment where there are all the prey items yeah. that it was genetically bred for, but it's not a suitable environment for that dog to try yeah, and yeah, yeah. live in a... So that they're, they're having real problems because every time they go in the park, uh, invariably, you know, else, the yeah. waste bins, there's a fox trotting off for it and this dog <laughs> just wants to go hunting. Um, so, yeah, it, it, that, be careful what you wish for. Yeah. And as well as I say, I've been through Hyde Park and, I mean, that obviously that dachshund has not been let loose in Hyde Park because there is enough squirrels oh. all over the place that he can have a field day. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and there lies the problem. You know, this dog, which has got high energy, high mental aptitude for it is taken on a lead you know it would be like a kid at christmas taken through the sweet shop and said you can't have any of these christmas presents or sweets and you've got to walk out the other end and behave yourself um <laughs> you know does it work yeah good the, luck the, with the training on that one <laughs> yeah, yeah well actually it, it's an interesting proposition and for me as a trainer you've got to come up with a Ooh, hopefully yeah. a workable yeah, solution yeah, yeah. Uh, and the one I've offered them is that we try and displace the behaviour of hunting to something which we can control and that doesn't involve live animals. So, yeah. you know, uh, one of the things which motivates dogs is that behaviour when they get hold of something that they want to kill. Yeah. Absolutely. And and so a, a, an active toy yeah. which they can then make the dog think that it's got hold of something and wants to kill it is what we're doing and yeah, so yeah, yeah. you know i i said earlier on that you know we, we we should always try and work with the natural drives that a dog's got when we're training them yeah um so yeah you know, for me as a trainer i'm always trying to find what it is that makes a dog tick you we should try and get a video of that so what is well the training i definitely think we should you would be up for the training video anyway the short like five yeah, minutes yeah, yeah.